Hi guys, looking at measuring angles. So today we've been using these little protractors. Um, when we're looking at an angle, we've got two different types here. These ones are reflex angles that we're looking at. So remember a reflex angle means it is larger than 180 degrees but it's less than a full revolution or less than 360 degrees. So when we're using our protractor, because our protractor only goes to 180 degrees, we need to line up the T on the vertex of the angle and swivel our baseline until it lines up with the ray. So then we go all the way around and we'll know that that will be 180 degrees off here. So we can extend that line out to show where our 180 degrees would come to. So this part of the angle is 180 degrees. Then we need to add this section to it as well. So I turn it around. I can actually turn my whole page around to make it simpler. Line the T up with the vertex of the angle. Now I'm adding on the bit that I haven't measured yet. So from the zero, I'd measure around 10, 20, all the way around to 160 degrees. So this side is 160 degrees. Then it's a matter of adding those two pieces together. So 180 degrees plus 160 degrees. Zero and zero, zero. Eight and six are 14. Three ones are three. So we end up with this reflex angle of 340 degrees. There is another way to work that one out. The other way to do it is, we know that if I start here and go all the way around, it would be a total of 360 degrees. So what I can do is I can just take away this small part of the angle. So to do that, line the T up with the vertex of the angle, make sure the baseline is along one of my rays, then I can count 10, 20 degrees. So it's 20 degrees in here. To find the reflex angle, I would do 360 degrees, take away 20 degrees, zero take zero, zero, six take two is four, three take nothing is three. And I end up with a reflex angle of 340 degrees.